Good evening, Brad. Some of the prep work is already started here, cleaning up the site. Now the heavy lifting is set to begin, and life is about to change in this very large area. For the people who live near what will become Lincoln Yards, they have one essential demand. I would like to see Sterling Bay's Lincoln Yards project be a success, as long as it does not negatively impact our surrounding community. Good or not so good, the impact will be enormous on Chicago's north side, from North Avenue up to Webster, Elston east to Kingsbury. Within that 70 acres, businesses, recreation, new parkland, and 6,000 homes in multiple structures. The tallest high rise, 65 stories. There are a lot of new people that will be added to this neighborhood. Audrey Winnick is the director of transportation for the Metropolitan Planning Council. We really need to think about high capacity transit. The CTA would add new bus routes to the existing L stations and a new terminal would be built for Metro. There needs to be explicit connections to those to make it really attractive for people to, to walk to those stations and use them and then uh, increase the capacity on those lines. Lincoln Yards developer plans major road construction. Elston here, part of this congested intersection that includes Ashland and Armitage, is set to be realigned. Dominic Street would be extended several blocks, and the area would include three new bridges across the Chicago River. But one potential result of that road work concerns Audrey Winnick, what she calls induced demand. More cars, more congestion. The easier you make it to drive, the more people will drive. We need, we want to make it easy for people to use transit and attractive to make, for people to use transit. Up next, temporary recreation fields on the south end, construction on the north end set to begin by the end of the year. All of this, this entire project is expected to be completed in about a decade. Live on the site of Lincoln Yards, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News.